Hello everyone and welcome to another video on the Python series of tutorials by Simply Learn. Today we are going to learn about classes and objects in Python. So we are going to understand the basics of object oriented programming in Python. Before I get started, make sure to subscribe to the Simply Learn channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. So what is a class in Python? A class is a virtual entity or a blueprint for creating objects. A class in Python provides a means of bundling data and functionality together. You can think of a class as a school. So here school becomes your class. A school has attributes about the students, classrooms, labs, playgrounds, etc. Hence the school can be called a class and classrooms, labs, desks, playground, assembly are the attributes or objects of a class. A class comes into existence when it is instantiated or initiated. We can create as many objects as possible in a class. Now in Python, a class is created using the keyword called class followed by the class name. The first string inside the class is called doc string and has a brief description of the class. Below you can see the syntax of creating a class in Python. We have the class keyword followed by the class name. This should be a valid Python name and then you have a colon. Below that you have the statements that should be present inside the class. Now Let's look at an example of a class in Python. So here you can see we have created a class called student and we have two variables, the student ID and the name of the student. And after that, we have created a function using the DEF keyword. So this is a user defined function and the name of the function is called display. And inside the display function, we are giving a parameter called self. So here the self parameter refers to the current class object and accesses the class variables. We can use anything instead of self, but it must be the first parameter of any function which belongs to the class. Now moving ahead. So let's look at what is an object in Python. So an object is also called an instance of a class and the process of creating this object is called instantiation. Now you need to create an object of the class if you want to use the class attributes in another class or method. Now the procedure to create an object is similar to a function call. So below you can see we have created a object called STU and we have called the class student using parenthesis. So this is how you create a class and after that we are displaying the message to be printed by calling the class name followed by the function which is present inside the class. So this example will create a new object instance named STU we can access the attributes of the objects using the object name prefix. Now moving ahead, let's understand the initialization or init method in a Python class. The init method is similar to constructors in C++ and Java. All classes in Python have an init function. It is always executed when the class is being initiated. You can use the init function to assign values to object properties or other operations that are necessary to do when the object has been created. So the init function is called automatically every time the class is being used to create a new object. So here you can see we have used the init method. We have defined using the def keyword. Then we have parameters self, name and age. So we are calling the class using this object called s1 and then we have passed in the values for name and age that is delay and his age is 27 years and after that we are printing the age and the name as well. Alright, now let's get started with our demo on classes and objects in Python on the Jupyter Notebook. So I am on my Jupyter Notebook. Let me first go ahead and rename my notebook to classes and objects in Python. Alright, I'll click on rename. First of all, let me show you how to create a simple class. So I'm creating a new class using the class keyword. So this is the keyword class and followed by the keyword I have my class name called new class. One thing to note here is the class name should always be a valid Python name. I'll give a colon and in the next line I'll just say x equal to 50. So this x is a variable which is present inside my class called new class. Now if I run it, I have my new class created. Now if you want to display the value of x, you can just say new class dot x. Now if I run this, 
you can see here I have my value printed which is 50. Now we'll see another simple example to create a class and to call that class using an object. So I'll say class then I'll say new class let's say 1 give a colon and I'll create a variable called x equal to 100. So my x is a variable which is present inside new class 1 and holds a value 100. Now I'll give a comment create object. So to create an object I'll define a variable called r. Let's say r stands for result and then I'll say new class 1. So I'm calling my class and then I'll say print r which is my new object dot x let's run it you see here i have my value printed of x which is 100 so this is how you can create or initiate a class using an object now let's see how you can use the self parameter in a class so i'll go ahead and create a class called student give a colon then i'll have some variables or the attributes of a student let's say the student ID is 10 and the name is Anderson now inside the class I'm going to create a user defined function called display so I've used my DEF keyword followed by the function name that is display and inside the display function I'll use self as my parameter and then I'm going to say print self dot id i'll give a comma and i'm going to print my name so i've written self dot name so i'll run this and then we're going to create an object called s and we'll call our class that is student and i'll say s dot display now let's run it and see the result you can see it here we have called the class using this object called s so it's displaying the id that is 10 and the name that is anderson cool now we are going to see an example where we'll pass a doc string so in the slide we discussed that the first string inside the class is called a doc string and has a brief description of the class so let me show you an example how to pass in a doc string i'll create a class again let's say called student give a colon and then we'll have our message which is essentially a doc string I'll say this is a student class then I'll create a variable called age let's say the students age is 14 and then I'll create a user defined function called welcome and have my self parameter after that I'll say print my message let's say hi comma welcome to section let's say B and then I'll come out of the class and we are going to print class name that is student I'll say student dot age and then I'll say print I will just scroll down student dot then I'm going to use the function name that is welcome and after that to print the doc string message I'm going to say my class name that is student dot I'm going to use underscore underscore doc underscore underscore now we have created a class called student that has a variable called age so we are going to display the age of the student and then we are going to display the doc string so here we are not going to print the message which is present inside the function called welcome let's run it you can see it here we have the message printed so first we are printing the age of the student and then we have the doc string message that is this is a student class all right now let's move ahead we are going to see how to use the init function in a class so I'll say my comment init function 
all right i'll scroll down i'll create another class called student this time we are going to use the init function so i'm writing def space underscore underscore init underscore underscore then we'll have our self parameter let's say the next parameter is name and then we have the date of birth of the student i'll say self dot name equal to name then i'll say self dot dob or date of birth equal to my parameter that is dob and then i'll say my object let's say s1 i'm going to call my class student and it will have values of name and date of birth let's say the name of the student is harry and the date of birth let's say it is 29th october 1992 all right and finally we are going to print s1 dot name and then i'll say print s1 dot date of birth let's run it you can see it here we have the name and the date of birth of the student printed cool now you can also modify the objects that you have created suppose i want to change the name from harry to virat because my object was s1 dot name harry i want to change this to virat let me show you how to do it this is very simple i'll just give a comment that is modify objects the way to do is you just see the object name that is s1 followed by the parameter that is name equal to let's say virat now if i print s1 dot name i'll have virat instead of harry okay now if you want to delete the object properties let's say i want to delete one of the properties let's say i want to delete name property of the student to do that i can use the del keyword followed by the object name that is s1 and say s1 dot name now if i print s1 dot name it will throw an error saying student object has no attribute name because we are first deleting it and then we are trying to print it and hence python cannot recognize this attribute name now you can also delete objects that is all the objects using the del keyword so this means we can delete both the objects that we created above which is name and date of birth so the way to do is i'll just say del s1 so it will delete all the objects that is s1 in this case i'll run this and then let's say i want to print s1 dot date of birth you see it here python says name s1 is not defined because we deleted it cool now coming to the final section of the demo we are going to create a simple class with init method again so this time my class name is let's say animal give a colon and then i'll write my init method using the def keyword i'll say self comma name that is the name of the animal as the parameter i'll say self dot name equal to name and then i'm going to create another function called def which is essentially a welcome or a greet message and that has a parameter that is self i'm going to print the greet message or the greeting i'll say hi my name is give a comma and then say self dot name now i'm going to create my object a1 to initiate my class so i'll say animal which is the class name let's say the name of the animal is puppy then i'm going to say a1 dot greet i'll use parenthesis let's run it 
there you go you see here we have a message printed hi my name is then using the self dot name argument of the parameter we are passing in the value that is puppy all right so that was a demo session on python classes and objects so we saw how to create a simple class in python and then we saw how to create objects to call a class and then we saw how to use the self parameter after that we saw how to print a message that is present in the doc string of a class and then we checked a few examples on using the init method in a class then we learned how to modify objects and delete objects in a class and finally we saw another example on init method all right so that brings us to the end of this video tutorial on python classes and objects i hope it was useful and informative if you have any queries please feel free to put them in the comment section of the video thank you for watching Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.